The interior of the school computer room with a large window and monitors placed on the benches. A teenage girl with blonde hair wearing a white shirt with vertical stripes, a black wide skirt, and nude tights. On legs, suede pumps with a medium block and a medium platform. The position of the legs lowered on the floor is dominant. The girl sometimes pulls her feet partially out of the shoes, and sometimes completely. The most happens from the eighth minute, where the girl gets rid of the shoes from her feet and airs them. The breakthrough moment happens at the beginning of the 11th minute, when the girl lifts her feet up and waves them just under the bench top. Mysterious Muster Tile from Saudi Arabia. New research reveals their functions. In the north of Saudi Arabia, there are huge, rectangular structures dating back 7,000 years, known as Muster Tiles. So far, they have been a mystery to scientists. Because it was not fully known what function they had, a team of archaeologists has just published the results of a recent excavation of one of these enormous structures. Revealing hitherto unknown evidence that they were used for ritual purposes. Researchers have also shed some light on ceremonial customs in ancient Saudi Arabia. Since the 1970s, monumental stone structures known as mustard tiles have been discovered in Saudi Arabia. However, it was only in 2017 that the first intensive and systematic research of these enigmatic monuments was undertaken, although their exact function was not established at that time. Recent excavations in the city of Al-Ula have shown that these structures were most likely built for ritual purposes and used for animal sacrifice. Built about 7,000 years ago, Muster tiles are rectangular, low-walled, stone structures with a length of 20 to even 600 meters. Mustatil is an Arabic word and means, rectangle. We still know very little about these monuments. Although they were first discovered in the 1970s, the mysterious muster tiles may be among the oldest monumental structures in the world. We currently know of more than 1,600 of these structures. And they are mostly located in northern Saudi Arabia. Currently, the muster tiles are partially buried in the sand. But they were created when the environment in these places looked completely different than today. Back then, there were even lakes, and the present sandy areas were covered with grass. But what could the people living in this area need muster tile for thousands of years ago? At one of these monuments, scientists came across an extremely rich collection of animal bones. Human bones that belonged to a man in his 30s were also found nearby. The conclusion of the discovery is obvious. This place must have been used for sacrifices. However, it was already suspected that these buildings had some ritual or cultural significance. Melissa Kennedy of the University of Western Australia in Perth and colleagues suggested that the then inhabitants of these areas must have noticed that the climate was beginning to change. And therefore it is possible that they started sacrificing, for example, cattle to appease the gods. So far, the number of scientific works on mustatils themselves and the beliefs associated with them has been rather scarce. So far, archaeological work has only been carried out in the vicinity of 10 of them. The recently explored mustatil is located about 55 kilometers east of the ancient city of al -Ula. Its length is 140 meters and it is built of local sandstone. But what could the ritual itself look like? Researchers believe that the followers of this mysterious cult entered the mustatil from one side to go to the other, the so-called head, where there was a sacred stone, betel, which represented the deity and could be used for communication with him. 
About 260 fragments of animal bones and horns were found around the sacred stone in the examined mustatl. Most of them belonged to domestic cattle, although some of them belonged to goats or gazelles. Archaeologists speculate that the animals were brought to the site and then killed. This is indicated primarily by the condition of the found horns. Horns and the upper parts of the skulls were offered to the gods. While the rest of the animal's body in the meantime could be eaten by the followers during the ritual feast. Accurately determining these details, however, is problematic because the remaining bones of the sacrificed animals have not been found. North of the head of the mustatl, a burial chamber of a man in his 30s or early 40s was discovered. Analysis of his remains showed that he suffered from osteoarthritis. Interestingly, however, he was buried there as many as 400 years after the animals were sacrificed in mustatl. And this is a kind of rule. In the case of burials near mustatls, the graves are always later. The Webb Telescope captures new details of the galaxy Messier 74. The James Webb Space Telescope has pointed its lens at the galaxy Messier 74, M74, resulting in a stunningly detailed image of one of the most spectacular galaxies visible from Earth. Webb revealed filaments of gas and dust in the spiral arms and showed an unobstructed view of a star cluster at the center of the galaxy. This galaxy was also imaged by the Hubble telescope. Data from both observatories complement each other and provide a comprehensive view of M74. Galaxy M74, also known as NGC 628 or PGC 5974, is about 32 million light years away in the constellation of Pisces and is oriented so that we can see it from Earth in all its glory. This galaxy has two distinct spiral arms. Unlike the patchy and jagged structure seen in some other spiral galaxies. The prominent arms make this object one of the favorite targets of astronomers studying the origin and structure of spiral galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope stared at M74 with its MIRI, mid-infrared instrument, camera and spectrograph operating in the mid to long infrared range 5 to 28 microns, to learn more about the earliest stages of star formation. These observations are part of a larger effort to image 19 nearby star-forming galaxies in infrared light. This project is carried out as part of the international cooperation PHANGS, physics at high angular resolution in near galaxies. These galaxies have already been observed with the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories. Adding the extremely detailed observations with the Webb Telescope will allow astronomers to pinpoint star-forming regions in galaxies, accurately measure the mass and age of star clusters, and gain insights into the nature of the tiny specks of dust drifting through interstellar space. Image of the Messier 74 galaxy generated from data from the Webb Telescope. The technologies used in the Webb Telescope allowed for extremely detailed imaging of the object. Webb's sharp vision revealed fine filaments of gas and dust in magnificent spiral arms that curl outward from the center of this image. The lack of gas in the central region also provides an unobstructed view of the star clusters at the heart of the galaxy, NASA and ESA said in a statement. Webb's photo shows bright pinkish-blue filaments of gas and dust swirling around the galaxy's bright blue heart, but M74 was previously imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope, which captured the galaxy's blue-pink spiral arms, but the object's heart came out fuzzy, without clear details.
Hubble's ultraviolet and visible light capabilities complement Webb's unparalleled infrared sensitivity, as do observations from ground-based radio telescopes such as ALMA. By combining data from telescopes operating across the electromagnetic spectrum, scientists can gain a better view of astronomical objects than using a single observatory, even one as powerful as Webb's. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, was launched into space on December 25 last year. It is the newest space observatory and explores the cosmos in the near to mid-infrared wavelength range. It has the potential to change the face of astronomy. Scientists hope this powerful observatory will give them a glimpse into the most distant galaxies ever seen into the atmospheres of distant planets and the dust-shrouded hearts of star-forming regions. The successor to the legendary Hubble telescope was designed to focus on infrared light, giving astronomers the opportunity to look at the earliest moments of the universe's existence. This is due, among others, to a 6.5-meter main mirror composed of gold-plated beryllium hexagonal panels. The James Webb Telescope is up to 100 times more powerful than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which has changed our understanding of the cosmos over the past 30-plus years.